What's up, everybody? Jacob Turner here for Tar Heel Illustrated. Dot com and to my left joining me our very own director of football recruiting miss Dina King and Dina we're here at Grimsley High School in Greensboro North Carolina five-star defensive tackle Travis Shaw number one player in the state and number three player nationally just committed to North Carolina's 2022 football class Dina I know you and AJ have done a podcast already we've discussed what it kind of means for the program so far so let's hit on this first what was it like just to experience I know you've covered a ton of recruiting commitments in your day so was this unlike anything you've ever seen because there was probably close to a thousand people here today. it was it was special it, it shows the person travis is uh, the community loves him i mean they had a a big turnout yeah, huge, huge families teammates a lot of fans just showed up to show their support so uh it, it was kind of a festive act uh, atmosphere here and uh he didn't disappoint the hometown folks yeah yeah i think he was scheduled to start around 6.15, 6.30. I think he got started about 6.35 and actually walked out of their field house over there, came out there, was lo broadcasted live as well. So there was a little bit of a countdown of delay on it, but definitely a really cool experience. And I mean, there was a ton of people here making a ton of noise for him. So yeah, I definitely agree with you, Dean. It means a lot for the community and to the school. Let's kind of talk about Travis in general. You got a little emotional during the commitment on, on live. Uh, seemed a little bit emotional the whole time. I know it's a big decision for him and something he's been um, weighing on for a little bit now. I know he actually said during his interview afterwards that he had committed to Carolina, or at least told Matt Brown on the 31st of July. So it's something that Carolina's known for a little bit of time now. Nonetheless, still a big pickup. What exactly does Travis Shaw's pickup mean for that Carolina? Carolina is a program in that 2022 class specifically. Number one player of the state has left North Carolina since Rivals did a a ranking since 2002. Only three oh, wow. North Carolina kids have played for the Tar Heels. Travis is now the first one since Jalen Dalton did a mm -hmm. few years ago. So just getting a the guys to, to buy in, the local guys, and it's just huge. It's just, I can't state how huge this is for North Carolina Tar Heel football. Yeah, when you consider, especially since he's in state, this is what been Matt Brown's bread and butter since he got back. He's been saying it since that November 2018 press conference. He wants to dominate the state, and that's a pretty big statement right there. Well, with the with his commitment, yeah. he, they have locked down four of the top five in Rivals' latest class of 2022. And Travis, outspoken, I know he's going to he's going to recruit the remaining oh, yeah. guys. I, I know <laughs> he is going to be on the phone with Travis. Well, Travis is going to be on the phone with Zach Rice, oh, yeah. Andre Green, mm -hmm. uh, George Petaway, and any others that, that want to decide to, to change and, and yeah. come to Carolina. Yeah, that's a perfect segue on <laughs> what I wanted to touch on last. I was over there for the interview. Um, talking, He was talking to the media for a little bit after his commitment, and a few things that came out of there I thought was really interesting. He said that when he told Mac on back during the 31st, he said Mac cried which is a little interesting to hear. Mac actually got emotional when Travis committed to him, um, which I thought was interesting. A guy like Mac, you can see how much it means to him in the program. A couple other things. I think someone asked him, you know, are you going to be a recruiter for this class, like you mentioned? He said, yeah, and I think he's, to quote him, he said, we're not done yet, trust me. So I would expect a few more guys to trickle in. And when you get a five-star like Travis saw, number three player in the country, I mean, some guys are going to follow suit, I'm so sure. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 this is a national moment. Uh, I think it's still big because who Carolina beat for his uh, commitment, mm. Clemson and Georgia, who are yeah, national powers well. that that uh, Carolina wants to get to that. And mm. getting guys like Travis will certainly help in the Tar Heels missions to get there. Definitely, definitely. Good place to wrap it up, Dina. One more thing I want to add real quick, too. He said the deciding factor really for him and one thing that really set it apart, he said when he had his sur surgery on his shoulder, if I remember correctly, uh, he said that Carolina was the only school that checked up on him the day of his surgery out of his remaining four. So he said that played a big factor in, in him kind of leaning towards the Tar Heels. And, yeah, no doubt they got a big one today, not only on the field in his stature, but in his talent as well, a big-time commitment that for the 2020 club. That just shows the, the staff at UNC, yeah. very genuine. They did also the same thing with Omari and Hampton mm -hmm. when he hurt his leg. So big, big, big pickup for you. Coach Matt Brown in Tar Heels. Definitely. Keep it locked to TarHeelIllustrated.com and our YouTube channel as well. We did live stream the event, so if you want to go check that out, you can find that on our channel. And for all the coverage from today's commitment, Travis Shaw committing to the Tar Heels, check out TarHeelIllustrated.com. I've been Jacob Turner. She's been Dina King. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.